my energetic beings. Welcome to What's Up, Tanya D. So today I just wanted to share and muse about the 10th Energetic Center, also known as the Earth Star, the 8th Energetic Center that I coined the Shaman's Portal, and your Heart Center, Anahara. Um, so the 10th Energetic Center is about a foot and a half below our feet. Um, it's the color brown. And right now, um, it works in the elemental realm, the realm of the elements being um, wood, fire, mineral, nature, stone, um, the earth plane, and connecting to the elements in nature. And the eighth energetic center, what I call the shaman's portal, the colors usually are black, silver, and platinum. And it's just a little pin drop above your head. And it's actually where the realm of your imagination um, kind of course is in. Your heart center, your heart center is the color, obviously, green. We know that, right? Plant green is nurturing to the heart. The color pink is actually nurturing to the heart. And so is the color gold. So you can bring in these colors, like bring brown in from the earth plane into your heart center and cross it up into your eighth energetic center. So it's like bringing the elements into the imagination. So when I say imagination, I'm talking about the imagination as far as um, deities and beings in another realm, basically, like um, fairies, trolls, um, a pegasus a witch, whatever, a vampire, whatever kind of thing that resonates with you that you have a conversation with. It's also the home of what we call our Akashic Records, our Book of Life, um, the Tree of Life, our Book of Shadows, <laughs> um, those kinds of things. You can um, meditate and bring in information from other lifetimes to heal into this lifetime. Um, so within each of these centers, I like to, you can kind of recalibrate your body and right now just bringing in the element that you're drawn to. So different elements have, um, different properties or characteristics and the property obviously of the season of wood, like springtime is, um, transformation and healing ideas change if you think about nature nature is always in change and the beautiful thing about honestly what's happening right now is it's all of us being um kind of pulled back on our our reins our human reins nature is still nurturing us and to get out in nature meditate next to a tree next to a river if you can or just even visualize it like every morning my woodpecker goes off. You'd think he was a rooster instead of a woodpecker. But every morning at about usually 6 to 7 a.m., he's doing this thing and having this conversation with the big old tree in the backyard. But So working with these energy centers and balances and imbalances um, to bring your body into balance. But um, I just want to share I'm creating a – I called it the buttercup meditation. It was actually a personalized meditation I – created for my assistant to get her through some shady moments but I've edited it and we've created a bonus which um I'll be sharing next week it's a bonus page um for um recalibrating during these times so I mean I don't know about everybody else but sometimes I'm very sensitive to frequencies and energies and I can feel the fear sometimes of what's happening, but just know in nature, nature will transform fear. And on the other side of fear is magic. That's the eighth energetic center, the portal within there. So yeah, if you have any questions or some musings that you'd like to share, go ahead and comment. Um, you can share this as well if you want. And also real quick, my um I do a weekly show called Meet Me for Coffee and this week I had my wonderful amazing Joanne Brown on my show and I launched those on Sunday mornings so you want to check her out she works with frequency the way I work with light just a different t 
tool to balance energetics in the body. So thank you for chiming in and joining me for today's show. I hope you have a blessed weekend. That is what Ashe means. And as always, I will see you on the other side. Thanks for joining me.